Hi everyone, let's start with the new geometry tree for this updated version. So first we will need a grid so that we will be instancing the points on it. And then we will need a set position so that we can offset it with our image texture. And lastly, we will need instance on points so we can instance something on those points. And we can already actually store the attribute for the UV map for the shader later on. Connect the UV map to the value input. Now frame all that, name it base geometry, and then we can move on to the very end of the node tree. We'll be just setting up the cosmetics so that we can then action the shader later on. Set shade smooth and set material as well. Frame that and name it accordingly. Alright, now we will instance something on it. We will go with the UV sphere and uh, we can see that they are overlapping because their radius is quite big. But uh, we will change that with the packing nodes that will affect the scale. So search for index of nearest. We will need a few other nodes and I'm basing this uh, setup on 3D Sync VFX video on packing which is absolutely amazing so the link is in the description. So add the evaluate at index node and then a vector math node set up on distance and then connect of course index to index and then we will need a few other nodes so first as well the position node so we know how to evaluate that and uh, now we can see that we're getting somewhere but we just need to offset them actually by their diameter um, so from points to points so double radius so divide with a math node with the value of 2 and then don't forget to connect everything accordingly and select the vector, of course, at the evaluate in the index and not the base um, value that it's set up there. And now we can see that they're aligned perfectly and they're touching but not intersecting anymore. So let's set up the grid for our video. Uh, it's a long video, so it's a in terms of format, so it's a 16 by 9, so let's put something as 160 points and let's frame this and name it Packing Instances Setup. And now we can focus on our image texture. We've seen already that in our previous videos, but let's do it here in a maybe simpler way. Um, let's patch an image texture into the offset of the set position of the grid, add a color ramp to be able to influence uh, how far the offsetting is uh, affected. And uh, then add two other vector mouse nodes and the position node so that we can position the image on the grid uh, nicely so that there is uh, no uh, intersection or overlapping uh, so that it's really nicely centered. So choose your image texture, in my case it's a video of course uh, you can reuse whichever video you have and now we can see when we action on the third value of the multiply node of the vector mass hits the z-axis we affect how far those points are offset based on the value of the color values of the video so let's go into the shader so we can see what is happening so add the same video through the image texture and then patch the vector into uh, the attribute node so we will name it as we need the snow attribute of the grid so the UV map and then we can see that we have the projection of the video there so we just need to set this up based on the number of frames we want the video to run and uh, now we can go back into the geometry nodes and set it all up so that we align the offset 
to the projection of the shader. So let's put it in the middle and then drag it down on the Y axis. This looks okay. And then when we scroll through the frames, you can see the offsetting is working, but not the shader. So let's go back into the shader, click cyclic, and then into the timeline. And we just need to keyframe um, the values in the geometry nodes. So jump back into the geometry nodes, go into the image section node, frame one, keyframe it, go at the end, keyframe that too, and then go back into the shader. And see what's happening oops yeah i just need to change this so we have the same values everywhere and then back into the shader we forgot to tick or to refresh and now it's working So let's go back into the geometry nodes and uh, play with the values so that we can just align everything nicely. Um, and then of course, if you want a higher resolution, uh, smaller points, uh, smaller instances, then you can just crank up the resolution of the grid. This looks okay. So when we play it, we can see that it's actually working and the uh, instances are not intersecting anymore. They change their size based on the space they have between themselves. So um, it's really evaluated the nearest index. So sometimes you have big bubbles, sometimes smaller ones. So you can frame this call it the image texture position and uh, these values the color ramp and uh, the vector mouse node the multiply one affects the influence of that image texture on the offsetting so we can call it image texture influence and then of course this is just instancing the geometry or the object you want to instance on the grid and uh, that's about it so yes the backing instance is set up um, there's a great tutorial with a great explanation uh, I suggest you watch it so that you understand better how it all works and uh, just don't forget to connect them properly because as you see as you saw it doesn't work and then in the shader uh, there is an easier way so instead of realizing instances you can just click on instancer as the type um, and don't forget to name the attribute the same as you named it in the store name attribute of the base geometry in the geometry nodes and that's about it thanks for watching and see you soon bye